the slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll show up I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time You're delirious, mysterious Because you are behind the fake exterior Inferior, you know I'm Hi everyone my tea. One sec. <clears throat> so, I have my apron on, you would have seen by the title and thumbnail. I'm going to be attempting to use extra strength colour before. Um, I have used this a few times. So a bit of a backstory. I know this is a now channel, but I was doing I was planning on doing this and I thought why not record it just in case someone wants to see the process and whether it works or not. I've used it before and it, it does work. But a bit of backstory about my hair. So um all the I like my brush and my clips and things, they're from my hairdressing kit. Um I couldn't be bothered to get because I'm in the summer house, I couldn't be bothered to go upstairs and just use my own stuff. Um, yeah, so a bit of a backstory about my hair. I have straightened it, not very, not not properly, but I have straightened it um, a little bit because it's really thick. So, and I only bought one colour before, so I thought if I straighten it, it might be a bit less hair. But for that, it's obviously not, you know. Still, st still all there, um, it's just straightened. So a bit of a backstory, as you can see, my hair is kind of like, hair in my eye, two different tones, okay? So from like, oh, oops, from like my roots down to about, I don't know if it's better with my lamp on, yeah, to about here, this is all my natural colour, so I have naturally dark really brown hair um this is all was bleached um i had it bleached at well for years many many years um but what's ha what's happening so you can see how it how i've got a line there yeah um so what happened was years ago I was having it bleached at the salon, um, home bleaching. I know, not it's not brilliant doing that, but I was having it bleached. Um, I was having it done at the salon and I had a shadow root, so like a dark shadow root and then grey, like an ash grey on the rest of it. And it, I loved it. I will, tr if I can find a picture, I will insert it so you can see what it looked like before. That was it last year, so um, December. And then t about two weeks before Christmas, um, it just looked quite drab, it looked quite dull, it didn't look healthy. Um, I mean, it, it's nice and shiny now um, from where it literally hasn't been bleached since then. And I went to the salon, they put like a glossy brown all over, um, chopped it all off because it was really, really long and chopped it all off and I did like it. Um, but after two weeks, the brown completely washed out. Yeah, and I had that done at the salon. I paid um, and it washed out. <clears throat> I don't know why it washed out. It just did. So the only thing I can think of is it's because my hair is quite porous. Um, so bleach takes to it really well. Brown, like colours, they just don't hold. Um, so they, it just washes straight. I mean, look at that shine. Nice and shiny. Um, it just washes out. So this is where we're left with dark and then all this from where that colour brown's just washed out. 
I don't know if this colour before is going to do anything. I know it doesn't lift bleach. That's not what I'm trying to do anyway. I'm just trying to get as much as the colour molecules out of my hair as possible to see what colour it will go to. Um, I got this from Superdrug. It was £6.65. Um, I don't know, I think it was like a third off or half price or something. I'm not good at maths. <laughs> so we're going to... We're going to do this today. What it says to do is you've got to have freshly washed hair. I mean, this I washed two days ago. It's got no products in there. I've been using Olaplex number three. Um, I think it's the strengthening builder or something um, for your hair. So I've been using that once or twice a week for the past five, six weeks. It's all gone now. It's only like the little bottle. My dog's just nicked something from the floor and I don't know what. And now he's run off. Something he's not allowed. Um, yeah, so I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at maths. Um, but yeah, it says um, to do that. So I've washed my, my hair two days old, um, section your hair, put it in um, as you would like a conditioner, it says. It doesn't touch your roots, so I'm just going to put it everywhere to make sure that I've got every single strand of hair. Um, but it does say that it won't affect your natural colour sorry not like you reach your natural colour so that's fine so I'm going to make sure I put it everywhere um you've got to leave it on for 60 minutes it says to put some clean film over so I've got some a hair dryer which I've got down there plugged in ready because it's, it says it's really important to keep your hair as warm as possible for the 60 minutes that you leave it in for um <clears throat> so my hair hasn't been coloured since December like December, gone. It hasn't been coloured, nothing's been done to it since then. It's just been growing out. Um, you can see where my natural sort of colour goes to. Um, yeah, so I don't know if this will do anything. I just want to try and lift as much of the box dyes and things like that out of here and the colour that the salon done, um, the brown. So yeah, okay, swig of my tea and then I'll section my hair. I'm, I can't section my own hair. Mm. so when I say I'm using all my own hairdressing kit I do um, I'm qualified in bridal hair and makeup not that I do it um, I did do hairdressing many 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 years ago and I am going to be doing hairdressing again so what I'm actually going to do I don't know whether to section just behind the ears which is what you would normally do but my hair's thick so I'm just gonna do it like this I find it easier to do it like this rather than doing loads of different sections I know you're supposed to I will make sure it's all spread out anyway <clears throat> yeah I know you're supposed to make um section it really 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 well I mean even these clips don't even go in my hair these ones because it's too thick so I'm gonna have to do two on each side I've got an old top on. I mean, this shouldn't shouldn't stain your clothes anyway, but right, let's have a look. I don't know whether it's better with the light on or off. On, maybe. Okay. Let me just try that light one more time. No, on. Because you can see the actual colour of my hair then. Right, okay. So it, it comes with that, which is to pour the powder, the activator, into that. Um, gloves, instructions, which I'd never read. Um, they didn't come with that. Why am I giving you that? Um, and the buffer. This is the part that I hate doing. I hate doing the buff, the buffing part of the washing. Okay, so we're gonna mix up. I'm just making sure that it's not gonna fall out. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you. So I've cut it open. don't want to put it in there too quick 
<gasps> like that. Oh, and this. <clears throat> okay, it actually smells like apple, but I, the last time I used this, it smelled of egg. Okay, so that's all in there. And then you're going to shake. So let me lift you guys back up. Come on, stay. So you need to shake this for a good few minutes. It says two minutes. I mean, I don't know if I can handle that for two minutes, to be honest. Because it's powder, obviously it can go into clumps, so you really need to make sure you are mixing this up really well. <coughs> it hasn't got like a squirty thing though. I mean, I have got a bowl that I can put it in, like a hairdressing bowl, but I don't really want to be using my stuff because I am going to be doing a hairdressing course soon as a private one. Ooh. Do you reckon that's been two minutes? Probably not. It's probably, I don't think it's been a minute. I'm getting really red and hot. I mean, I can't see any. Yeah, I can. Don't know if you. Yeah, can you see that? That's where. Um, the powder's got just stuck on the side. Ugh. I'm trying to get it off. Ow, it doesn't work. Oh, I've just ordered hand dolly. Oh, can't wait for it to come. So it says on their website they are the only people or company or something. Um, I can't remember now. That have like locking. You, so you know the cuticle, you know where you put the tips up inside, um, hand like pla uh, practice hands, you can put them right up inside. They're the only ones that have locking system, so it doesn't like fall out and things like that when you're filing. So I've ordered a hand dolly, I ordered it yesterday. They are um, handmade by order, so I think it can take like a week to ten days or something to come. Um, yeah, so I've ordered that really really looking forward to that coming to be honest i do like doing my own nails but i can do them better either on somebody else um or on like a practice hand okay so when that comes i'll do an unboxing and we'll test out and things as well that's gonna have to do oh, it smells vague it wasn't me okay Right, let's give that a brush. Yeah, whenever I used to bleach my hair myself, which would be years ago, probably about four years ago was the last time I bleached my own hair. Um, I used to use Jerome Russell, 30 volume. Actually, the first time I done it, I used 40 volume. Oh, never again. The only reason why I did was because my hair's so dark. Um, it was like really, really dark. And I used to lift it as much as I could. Never again though, because my hair went all damaged. It was actually snapping off. Okay. I'm just, I mean, I'm just gonna go for it, to be honest. It's green. Green. Okay. Oh, it does smell. It doesn't bother me if I get it on my roots. Sorry, my natural colour, shall I say. Because this isn't supposed to affect, it's not supposed to change your natural hair colour. So it doesn't bother me if I get it on there. I mean, I'm hoping I've got enough. I have thick hair, as you guys know, I've been going on about it. Um, so I'm hoping this is enough. I usually buy two, but I never need to use a second one when it comes with this. Hair dyes I do, I always have to buy two. So I'm hoping I've got enough. I 
going to work that well. I don't really mind if it doesn't. I don't mind if it doesn't take me back to that blonde that I was. It's mainly um, because I want that Albany colour. I was actually going to bleach my hair today, but every time I bleach it, it, it does, you know, it works, but it just damages my hair. Obviously, it does, even if you go to the salon, it's still going to damage your hair. You put in bleach on it. It doesn't matter, matter whether you do it yourself at home or whether a salon does it. It's still going to damage your hair. Um, bleach is bleach. But... I didn't do it because my hair is in quite good condition. So I don't, I'm too scared to do it. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. I had this um, lady give me and my dog a dirty look. I've got a Mastiff, always had big dogs, um, always. I mean, my I grew up with, with dogs. My dad, we had a lot of dogs. My dad, you know, used to kind of train dogs. He was a judge, you know, at the, um, dog shows and crafts and things like that <coughs> so I've always been brought up with dogs um, and I absolutely love them I, I like them more than people um, but yeah I had this lady she grabbed hold of her son's hand and pulled him away and was like oh no don't go near that dog and I just looked at her and I said he doesn't bite he's very friendly she went well that's what they all say and I was like but he doesn't bite he is friendly why would I lie um, and she just walked away. But I just, I just thought, you know, what? You're, you're being stuck up. I'm sorry, you are being stuck up. You don't need to be like that. Dogs aren't just born really nasty and want to rip someone's face off. <coughs> it's the way they're brought up by the owners. You know, people have their opinions on that, which is fine. But that is that that that's the truth. It is the way that they are bought up. So yeah, um, because he's got a deep bark, people get quite weary of him. Um, so they think, oh, he must bite. No, he's just got a deep bark because he's a mastiff. So yeah, um, absolutely love dogs. Let me know if you guys have any dogs and what you've got. I wanted a cane corso, um, I really wanted a cane corso but to be honest the they're really hard to come by um, and a lot of people will trim their ears back and chop their ears and stuff or crop them shall I say they crop their ears which in in the UK it's illegal to do that um, and the ones that I found that were in the UK um, did have cropped ears and I thought no that's actually illegal you can't can't be doing that um, and I wouldn't want one with cropped ears not because it looks horrible because there's nothing to do with that um, some of them do look cute with cropped ears but because it is illegal and I wouldn't want people thinking that I done that to my dog
I'm not very good at plonking it on top of my head. Right, I mean, that's that's pretty much as much as I'm going to be able to get out. Sometimes you can have a look at this and it doesn't look like it's done anything. But then you wash it out and then you'll be shocked and you're like, oh, wow, look how much my hair's lightened. I probably didn't need the max strength, but um, I thought it was better better to be safe than get the other one okay right now what i have to try and do is put these in this box is do this now and i hate doing this i'm rubbish with clean film cling film cling film clean film i know it's cling film but i always say clean film so if I start it that way, Ugh. okay, I don't want it to be behind my ears yeah that's all covered towel oh, back how do I look so we look at glamorous and then you have to put actually what I might do is I might blow dry this a little bit and then put a towel on will it melt it won't melt this into my hair will it soon find out You might hear my dog bark, he doesn't like the hairdryer. I can't be bothered to do it five minutes, but I will keep doing it throughout those 60 minutes. Um, okay. Ugh. Let me just put this on like I would a towel. I can't do it that way. I need to do it this way. I can't do it the other way. This doesn't long enough to reach at the bottom. So I'm hoping that there's enough sort of scrunch to be able to scrunch this up. Ugh. Kind of. As long as it doesn't come off. No, that hasn't done i wanted it to clip to that but it's not going to do that is it i don't know why i thought it would let me just clip this bit there okay that's on oh don't i look so fabulous um we're gonna oh, i'm done <clears throat> so we're gonna leave this on for 60 minutes what time is it I haven't got a clock. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, so I will leave it on at, till 12. Um, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like. It'll be dried, straightened, and we can see. And I will see if I've got a picture of what it looked like before. Put it on screen and put it like a difference either side so you can see. Um, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so we're in my bathroom. Um, it's been... I mean, you can definitely see how much lighter it's gone. So it's been 60 minutes, almost. I've just put the hairdryer on it for a few minutes. Um, so that's my real, the next thing for when you're in the bath. Um, yeah, so it says to wash for five minutes, rinse for five minutes, then apply the buffer, really, really wash, like scrub that in, rinse for five minutes then apply the buffer again really massaging that in for one minute and then rinse again for five minutes um you really need to make sure it's rinsed out because i mean you can see how much lighter it's gone um yeah so it didn't look like this just a minute ago at all because i just took it off and used the hairdryer for like a couple of minutes and it was just brown like this 
but since using the hair dryer it has gone a lot lighter so if it does look like it hasn't done anything before you rinse it off just try and use the hair dryer for a good few minutes um yeah so this is what we're going to be using now but i need to rinse it first so let's take it down let's have a look okay let's take that off Okay, so it's definitely gone lighter, um, obviously this is all my natural colour so it's not going to touch that. So I will rinse this off and then I'll be back when it's all dry and styled, by styled I mean it's just going to be straightened. Um, yeah, so I'll be back when it's all, it's all rinsed off. Okay. Bye! So this is what it looks like. This is a final result. I've done a bit of makeup as well. But yes, yeah, it's, it's lightened it up. Um, I will put, if I can find a picture, I will put of it on screen now and a picture of what it was before, like side by side, so you can see the difference. So this is what it looks like in the back. You can see the back. So that's what it looks like. Um, I am happy with it. I mean, it has this bit's gone quite light. This bit here, it has gone a lot lighter than what I thought. I didn't think it would go this light. Um, this is the colour that kind of suits me. Like, like really, really white blonde just doesn't suit me because I have freckles, so it just doesn't suit me. That's my personal opinion. I've seen a lot of people with freckles with blonde hair, and it suits them. They look gorgeous, but on me, it just doesn't. But yeah that's that's what it looked like um as i said i'm doing a car boot tomorrow so i'm not going to be doing a video tomorrow so i do want to do my nails though so i will probably be doing that video today as well and it, this one will be uploaded today and so will the one for my nails that i'm going to be doing um but yeah that's what it looks like um i think if this is this is with, is with my light on and that's what it looks like my light off Okay, so that's off and my light is a natural light um but yeah if i think if i bleached my hair didn't like it put a brown on top didn't like that wanted to go back to blonde and i used the color before within like a couple of days of doing that it would have gone back probably really like pretty much blonde but because it's been seven months since it had brown put on it um that's probably why it hasn't lifted that well but i do like it it does it does look nice i am glad that i done it it kind of looks ombre ish i mean there is a few straight lines but that that that's not there that's just pretend that's not there but yeah um i'm happy with it so that's what it looks like um I cut my own hair as well, not today, I mean I cut it a while ago, I do cut my own hair quite a lot, um, yeah, so, but thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye!